Cup's dreams are to win, obviously, for the week. Um, to get a stage win would be really nice, and to get some Irish jerseys on the podium, and yeah, get a first Irish rider over the line for the first time in a while, so that's a big goal. The weather may have been less than cooperative, but that didn't dampen the spirits of the 105 rider peloton, which assembled at the Hoban Hotel in Kilkenny for the first stage of Ross Namon 2022. Ahead of them was a 74.2 kilometre stage, including two finishing loops of a 13 kilometre circuit in Callan. There was just one Wicklow 200 Queen of the Mountains climb for the riders to contend with, and Britain's Danny Shrewsbury of Cam's Basso had the strength to take the points and scoop the first orange jersey of the five-day, six-stage event. Callan played host to a group sprint on its first appearance 12 months ago, and the likelihood of a repeat increased as a large peloton heard the bell with one lap remaining. The Irish team did much of the legwork to ensure a bunch finish, and it was their sprinter, Lara Gillespie, who burst off the wheel of Eve McChrystal with 200 metres remaining to overhaul Tiffany Keep of LDN Brother UK and Jessica Finney of Cam's Basso on the uphill drag to the line. Gillespie's win ended an eight-year victory drought for Irish riders in Ross Lamont and comes after a recent return to action in the velodrome for the Wicklow rider following a long layoff due to illness. This means so much. I'm actually, I was a bit emotional like 30 seconds after the finish. I was like, I didn't think I'd be here even like a month or two months ago. I'm just still bending back my fitness and my strength. So yeah, this one kind of touches my heart a bit. <laughs> when did you know you had it? Uh, I didn't really, cause I was always like, oh, is there someone coming up behind me? Um, I thought I left it a little bit too late. And then, yeah, I, I literally knew as I went across the line. <laughs> Pretty good teamwork, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, incredible teamwork. We, we're so lucky with the team that we have here. Everyone's really positive and working and this was our plan today to go for the sprint and we executed it perfectly. Kelly, Linda, Eve, all on the front, like 5K to go. We were in our perfect line and we just stayed strong and held our own and yeah, it just, it means a lot that we all like did our jobs right and got over the line first. What was it like in the last kilometre or so? Tell us what that was like. It was intense, yeah, I just was focusing, stay on Eve's wheel, stay on Eve's wheel, and Eve was on Kelly's wheel, and yeah, it was really just making sure I was in that top five and top three um, as I went around that corner. It was intense, but I think in control, and I knew exactly what to do after going through the course a few times, so I felt confident. Well, you have the jersey, how do you keep it? Uh, just keep doing the same as what I did today. Don't panic, stay in the front bunch, and yeah, trust your legs. Kate Richardson of Team Alba followed Gillespie across the line with Finney completing the podium ahead of teammate Madeline Leach. The Kilkenny County Council Best Irish Rider jersey goes to Quiva O'Brien, while Gillespie takes the JustPrint.ie stage winner's jersey, to which were added the lead of the Women's Commission Young Rider and Sport Ireland points classifications. Gillespie also leads overall and will carry the Magenta overall leader's jersey into battle on the demanding and hilly second stage from Kilkenny to Inishdeeg and on to the finishing climb to Woodstock House and Gardens. <laughs>